guys and welcome to another video yes how is everyone doing good so am i i'm doing great i'm just really really trying to survive um, the humidity um my respiratory situation other than that i'm doing great so you guys i have so many leftovers in my refrigerator to the point i'm not gonna be cooking any like major meals big meals when i'm gonna share with you guys are finger foods one of my finger foods are stuffed jalapeno peppers so that's what will be the first thing i'll get started with Secondly, I've never made Craig Rangoon. So this is inspiration from a couple of people I've seen made it on their channel. So I wanted to give it a try. And according to how I feel afterwards, I will do my fried cauliflower finger food. So yes, so that's what we're going to do because I have to eat up the leftovers of the major meals before i cook another one but i still wanted to um give you guys some something so let's get started i'm um, so for the stuff and your jalapenos you're gonna need of course jalapenos they've already been washed off you can see i have more water you're gonna need room temperature sour cream I wrap mine with bacon. You're going to need your bacon. I have chives. A little bit of salt if I taste it in need because the cheese can be salty. And don't forget your bacon has salt in it. So along with my um, cream cheese, I have a little bit of cheddar and a little bit of mozzarella. And then I have the green onions. And we're going to get started with that. So... Because of my situation, I normally don't blanch my jalapenos, but the last time I cooked them, the peppers didn't get soft enough for me. So I had to put them back in the oven and then it just kind of like squished the cheese. So I'm going to blanch these for the first time. I'm doing it this way and we'll see how it turned out. So we already have our water on. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Until it starts boiling, then I'm gonna drop the peppers in there and take it from there. Here. Make sure everything, I'm gonna move this out the way because this is for the crab ragoon. We have our bowl here for our Put mixture. Right okay, so the cream cheese, I'm only making six jalapenos, so this is like three fourths of a pitch. And the cream cheese is the star of the stuffed jalapenos. The added cheese is just to, you know, bring some fun and excitement to the dish. So, I'm going to uh, put that much cheddar in and just a little mozzarella. And I'm going to use a fork. To me, it's easier to uh, incorporate these ingredients together with a fork. So, I'm going to get this stuff in. Eventually, I'll pull the spoon out, scrape them outside, the spatula, or whatever. And I'm going to start off with a fork. Adding cheese to your sour cream, I mean your cream cheese. You can be as creative as you want to, or you can just keep it all. Um, the cream cheese is up to you. So I'm going to add some chives. I love greenery in my food, 
Um, especially when it's plain like white like this. Gives it some color, some excitement to it. And I know this is not as mixed as I want it to be. I am going to add the rest of this cheddar. I feel like I want all this cheddar in there. <clears throat> and for the sake of it, I think I am going to just go ahead and add um, a little salt and some pinch. That's not even a, a half a teaspoon. Um, you can use whatever kind of bacon you want to use to wrap these chives, uh, your uh, jalapenos in. Today I'm using my maple bacon. The last time I used smoked applewood bacon. So let me get a spoon. See what this tastes like. Mm. Mm. I wish I had some more cheddar chopped up, not chopped up, shredded up, but I did, don't and I'm not going to shred up anymore. Let's add a little mozzarella. Yeah, I was gonna say mm -hmm. we could use some spice, but I forgot the pepper is gonna be the spice. Um, that's it for our mixture. So we're gonna set this aside. <clears throat> oh, you love Miss Chloe, guys. Are you guys praying for me? Because I'm surely praying for us. I tell you. Surely. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, I'm going to just let them cook a little bit. And I see the skin starting to, um, I should have split it a little bit. This is almost like. So guys, once these uh, peppers get ready to come out of here. I'm sorry, see what I'm saying? Once we get ready for the peppers to come out here and cut open and stuff, I will be right back because um, depending on how hot they are, I'm going to have to let them cool off. So I'll be right back. In the meantime, be extraordinary. Okay, guys, so we have our peppers. I let them hang around in the hot water to maybe... Mm. A little over five minutes. Um, then I ran them in cold water, but they're still a little warm here. Um, I didn't want to take a chance and mess up my skin because I have to cut these open. And when I cut them open, I'm going to leave the when I cut them open, I'm going to leave the top on and the bottom one. Just going to make a little slit, get up in there, and clean it out, and then stuff it with the cheese. And I already have bacon ready to go. So let me work with this one at the temperature that it does it and see what, how um, it's coming along. So if you can see guys, hope you got a clear view. All right, right, right under the head of the pepper. That's where I want to start my slit. And I'm going to take it all the way down and stop before you get to the bottom. Now you probably want to look at the um, the pepper and see where, where it's best to split it at. Because you want it to be able to lay down. If you put it, you slit where it won't lay down. It's going to keep rolling like that. So, you, so that's just flat surface there. 
So I'm going to start my slit up here because it's nice and flat. So I'm going to take my knife and gently push through. And I recommend that you take your time because you don't want to bust it open. And um, so you gently pull it open. Gently. And that's about it. You just could be careful. You could squeeze it like that. And you could... Uh, I'm going to get something smaller, like this. Something small that will go in it and get those seeds out. Remember, those seeds are where the heat is. So, just simply scoop some seeds out without splitting your pepper. And if you like heat, you want to leave some seeds in it, that's fine. But that vein is where all that heat is. And I see that the vein is softened and cooked up. I mean, it's not hard anymore because I did have it in the water. So I'm not going to even worry about pulling that vein out. Normally, <clears throat> I would pull that vein out because all the seeds would be attached to that vein. But as you can see, most of the seeds came out. Most of the seeds came out. The vein is still in there, but it's tender. Okay? So that's one. I'm going to show you again. We're going to find a flat side. The best flat side right there. We're going to go in gently. Let's go downward. Be careful to take your time. Or oh, you know, take your knife away from you. I suggest that you take your knife away from you so you can turn your pepper around and go up. Either way, you will just bring the blade away from you. So I apologize for not doing that. <clears throat> I'm just so used to working with that with knives. So I'm, but I can still get cuts, guys. So that's why I want to be careful. Spread those seeds out. If you want to get that vein out without ripping up your pepper, just go ahead, but it's important to keep your pepper intact as much as you can because you want this filling to be able to stay in it without running all the way out. Just take your time. Sometimes seeds might want to be stubborn. So you have to pull that vein. That want to come out, so if you want to come out, bring it on out. Some of them don't want to hang out, they want to come out. Again. It's not ringing again, so I'm going to start with this last pepper. Try to do it so you guys can see it. Oh, see, now that it's got a little cooler, it's able to open up a little more. When it was hot, it was just too delicate to try to force it open. So now it's cooler, I can scoop it up a little more. And so if I use the spatula, see how some is on both sides? So I'm going to take the back of the spatula first and put that in. I'm going to just push it in. Make sure it go up to in, up and into the pepper. And that one was less messier because it cooled down more. And I was able to handle the pepper better. And you squeeze the pepper a little gentle. Then I'm going to squeeze it tight. And if you choose to take all the filling out and, um, you know, close it all the way, that's you. You can. I just like mine to be open a little bit. Because I like to see when that cheese be oozing between the bacon. <coughs> okay. I'm going to start put that and peach under the bottom, hold it with your finger. Wrap around it. Come around your bacon. Just stretch it out. So it can cover the whole pepper. And there you have it. I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna put two on the row, two on each row because I have six, and just like that. 
So I'm just two, two, two. I have my oven preheating at 275 because I like to slow cook mine so it can get really, really tender so I can enjoy it. But you can set your oven on 300, 350. I'm not going to say 4 or 450 because you want that bacon to get done. Uh, you don't want to get burnt before everything melt and cook inside thoroughly, come together thoroughly. So I'm going to finish stuffing all these, get them in the oven, and show you what they look like when they're done. In the meantime, be extraordinary. Okay guys, so we have our jalapenos in the oven. So I did turn mine back up to 300 to at least get them start cooking. And we're gonna see and take it from there. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start on the crab rag broom. <clears throat> Inspired by a couple of friends, or video people that I follow, rather. Um, I never made them before, so that's what I'm here for to enjoy myself, bring you guys some stuff. And um, yeah, so the ingredients you're gonna need, I'm trying to make sure the camera is. Uh, the ingredients you're gonna need is sweet chili sauce. Of course, that's for dipping purposes. And you can always use whatever kind of sauce that you prefer. Powdered sugar. Room temperature softened cream cheese. Warm time wraps, which we're gonna put back in the refrigerator until we're ready for them. They'll be easy, easy to be more pliable when they're cold. I like the bacon from the jalapenos. I, I let that sit out. I could left that in the refrigerator because that bacon was so slippery trying to get around my peppers. So have ranch dressing. Um, and of course we have the crab meat, which I'm going to use half a pack of this because it's just me. That's a 16 ounce. I'm going to use half of that, 8 ounce. And then we have the onions. Green onions already minced and ready to go. So, any spoon that I have left or will have left, I will put it away for future use. Uh, because I have a lot of filling left for the cream cheese. I'm mean, at the jalapenos. And over here, I have my wok. I'm gonna fire it in the wok. It's getting hot. With so here we go, let's get started with the outfit of the blue. Uh, follow the recipe. Uh, let's just break it open and separate the flakes, which is best to get the ones with the flakes in them. So you can separate them. I'm going to first go in here and get what looks like half to me. Half and half. 16, 18, so that should be enough. Um, uh, room temperature soften. Okay, separate the flakes first. I'm moving fast, guys. Let me slow down. <laughs> yep, separate the flakes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to separate the flakes as such. Because I was looking at that there, I was very sorry, that, that doesn't look like a lot. That's because I was doing a skip a step. I take your time and separate the flakes. And that's what make the difference. <laughs> It'll look like enough. And um, I guess you can separate them according to the how thin or thick you want them. I'm going to separate them as much as they separate. We're gonna go in with the softened room temperature. I'm wondering if I'm gonna need all this. Jeez. So. I am gonna use most of it, like three-fourths of it, 
and then add on if I don't need it all because I just don't it just doesn't look like I need all the cheese so we just want to see okay so we want to get the mixing this together like I said I'm going to use a fork I'm going to start off with a fork And just mix, mix, mix. Use the back of the fork. Put some pressure in it. <laughs> push, push, push. I believe you should um, really check your time and make sure the cheese is incorporated really well. good. I'm going to add the rest of the sugar and I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this cream cheese. So <clears throat> the recipe do call for a whole pack for eight ounces of crab. Wow that's good guys. I'm going to add a little more onions. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Guys, that gave me a workout. I'm going to mix this up. And I'll be right back. In the meantime, be extraordinary. Okay, guys. So here we go. Hands on pack up with the chain. I'm going to these wontons. I have it nice and mixed up. Listen, guys, I had to go by my taste. I went on to add me some more sugar in there and another half a pack of that ranch dressing. It was just tasting a little bit under underwhelming this season. And once I put that in there, I feel much better. Now I noticed the texture was starting to get softer. And I remember when the ladies said you don't want the texture to get too soft, so I had to be mindful. The more you mix, the softer the cheese will get. You know, it's already room temperature, so just be mindful. Uh, not to make it too soft. Now I have this rack sitting here because as I stuff them, I'm going to sit them on the rack. I don't want to sit them on a plate. And they start sticking to the plate. Um, that wok gets hot really quickly. So I'm gonna do a couple of these, then I'm gonna turn the wok on. Oh boy. You yeah, guys, this is um how it's gonna have to work. Because the other way it's not working for me. I have to practice. Yep, this is better. This is better. That's better. So, we have envelopes. <laughs> Ours are envelopes. I'm going to lay it here. Dry my fingertips. Try one more. I 
I'm up here trying to show you guys, and I'm just learning myself. Let's do it this way. Okay guys, so we have <laughs> them all wrapped up and we're not quite at 350 and then like uh, 345 but I'm going to drop one in and see what happens in my new walk. They're not tight as well, you know, I'm not going to complain. I hope they don't open if they do. Oh well, we'll Get better next time, but I'm gonna go over here. Okay, it's ready. It's fine. All right. That's what it should do for as soon as you hit. All right, so let's get these bad boys in. I think I cooked a dozen of them. Uh, then I got major ball right here. I'm cooked that ball. One of the ones I messed up. You gotta show that love. That has two wine times around it. You know, the more you put in your grease, that changes the temperature of the grease. It brings it down. So you don't want to cloud your pan. See, it dropped a little bit already. Yeah, it's 340 now. <laughs> but that's okay. This can come out. Alright. And my jalapenos are done. You know, the, uh, the look of that. See what they're looking like. Cheese bursting all out of them. So they're done. I hope the jalapenos are tender enough for me. Flip them over to the other side. I don't want my eyes too pointy. No. Actually, I can't eat mine pointy at all, so I probably need to bake mine in the oven, huh? That's a lot of the long time left on the ends, but it's my first time, and I'm pleased with the way they look. I'm satisfied they didn't burst open. You know, I'm very satisfied about that. They're nice and crispy. 
Then I'm gonna leave out the, the misfit. <laughs> now I'm gonna drop the rest in. That one hardly had nothing in it, huh? Here we have it, guys. I'm right back, all plated up. So next time, be extraordinary. Here we have it, guys. Our crab ragoon, stuffed jalapeno peppers with cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, and cream cheese wrapped in bacon. Our sweet chili sauce. And some of these are a golden brown and some are lighter. Again, I can't eat mine too crunchy and golden brown. So mine are the lighter ones. I'm excited to bite into them. Oh, the onions are popping everywhere. So, let's see. Let's take this one. Not too hard. I don't have a free hand, so um, let me go to my scissors are clean. I'm gonna cut it with the scissors so we can. Oh, looking nice and cream. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and creamy. Mmm, just right. The texture is just right for me. Now I'm gonna get into the chili sauce. Sweet chili sauce. Mmm-hmm. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm, mm hmm Guys, mm-mm-mm. Guys, mm-mm-mm. Wow. That was a burst. That was like an umami. Nice. And cool down to the rice and room temperature. Because you definitely can't bite into these as soon as you take them out the fire. Oh, way. Wow, that one big bite was full of crab. Mm. And I still got that half full of crab. Mm -mm -mm. Woo! Woo wee! Now we, uh, uh, I was trying to mess up the presentation. Well, I have to get my picture. My thumbnail. So I'm gonna use my kitchen shears again because I'm gonna have one hand. I'm gonna gently cut through the bottom. There's pepper. Get some of that bacon. So you guys can see the inside of that pepper. The cheese, the bacon. Remember I told you I like to see the cheese bursting out in the middle of my uh, bacon. She has bursting out the bacon. That's why I don't like to close mine tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bite. I'm try it with the, I never tried this with the sauce, but what not? Why not, River? Take a bite, get some bacon, all that good middle. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. The pepper is tender. Mm hmm. Yeah. Pepper is nice and tender. 
just another spot, just enough spice because I took the vein out. Mm-hmm. So it's a little tang. And we left the vein in over oh, extremely hot. Whew. One thing I want to remind you guys is when you're working with peppers, keep your hands clean. Because if you accidentally touch your eyes, that's a mess. Mmm. That crispy bacon on top. Mmm. That salt. With the sweet and the heat. Woohoo. Guys. Mmm. So, listen. Lord, we thank you for this food. Thank you for the hands that prepared it. Thank you for everyone that's watching. God, we pray that no one goes hungry tonight. In the name of Jesus. Holy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the gift that you have given me. Help me to continue to expand and learn and grow. I can share with your people, your children. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy. So now, guys. I may make the fried cauliflower, but I need to sit down for a minute and get something on my tummy. It's still early, and if I do the cauliflower, I'll be back. For now, be extraordinary till the next time. Thank you for joining me. Bread milk, fried cauliflower. Crab rangoon, smoked jalapeno peppers, wrapped with bacon, cheddar cheese, um, cream cheese, and mozzarella cheese, sweet chili sauce with green onions, garnish.